Hey WHS, what are you waiting for? Order a yearbook now before it goes up in price. Bring $55 cash or check to room 1310. Save the date, October 14th is the annual DECA tailgate. It starts at 5.30. Do you plan to take the SAT? Would you like to be a part of the National Merit Program? Then you need to take the PSAT. The cost is $15 and it will be held on October 19th at 8 a.m. at WHS. It's open to the first 75 students. See your guidance counselor for more details. Don't forget to visit www.bluejayjournal.com for a look at our new video productions, blogs, and more. You'll be glad you did. Time is running out. You need to buy your raffle ticket to win a prize pack of nearly $900 in prizes from Miss Turner in room 1311 or any Blue Jay Journal TV staff member. Thank you. DECA is hosting a knockerball tournament to raise money for MDA. The event will be Saturday, October 22nd at 6. The cost is $20 per person. That includes two games and a t-shirt. See DECA member Allison Skaggs for more details. We want to congratulate our It Only Takes One Challenge Number 1 winners one more time. We will have Challenge Number 2 ready soon. Teachers, pay attention to your email for the next chance to have your classes compete for a prize. Okay, Blue Jays, if you want a chance to win some awesome prizes from the It Only Takes One Challenge, then tweet at Blue Jay Journal a photo of you wearing your seatbelt. We have some free t-shirts as well as some goodie bags full of prizes to give away next week. As soon as you get in your car after school today, buckle up and take a selfie and tweet it to us before you drive. No selfies or tweeting while driving, please. Miranda Rosales knew that Matt Rudd was hanging out down at Washington Riverfront. Specifically, he was on the boat dock. Luckily, Matt paid attention to the sign and didn't jump in for a midnight swim. Miranda tweeted us to win. Matt Rudd headed out of Washington this week to enjoy this wonderful fall weather. Where is he? Tweet us at Blue Jay Journal where Matt Rudd is this week to win a prize. It is time for your pets of the week. Our first pet belongs to Kaylin Grafrath. This sweet kitten is named Midnight and she's about nine weeks old now. Our second pet is Miranda Rosales' dog. His name is Buster and he loves to wear hoodies. Our final pet of the week is Kennedy Siefkin's dog named Sandy. Kennedy says her dog is indeed one of her best friends. Do you have a special pet? Tweet us their photo and a little bit of information about them so they can be a pet of the week. Thanks for watching! Have a great weekend!